A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So I spent the night going to Jen's place, grabbing all the rest of our stuff, scrapping stuff, selling stuff to Jen, and bring it over here. And when I got back here, remember we ran away because I was a wandering horde. They actually made these two blocks disappear all the way through. So now I upgraded the concrete, I put another layer, upgraded that. And we just have to go over here and do the rest. I actually want to see... I put the times 8 scope on here as well. I basically went through all my mods, all my tools, everything. And then just scrapped what we're not going to use, sold what we're not going to use. Um, if I saw that it actually had some value to it, I sold it. So we now have like 6,000 coin, more or less. I need to kill... I need some uh, legendary weapons. I need to kill more wandering hordes. And I need to level up. We need 10 points over here to master scientist. If we can finally get ourselves a crowbar and military tablet over here, that would be amazing. It's going to be a while though. Okay, so this cobble over here is busy crafting. The drone is finally done. Okay, I'm going to put the drone down. We have to be careful though. This thing loves getting hit by like vomit. Startup sequence okay, stand activated. still. Turn around. I hate this A21 feature. Two rows worth of storage. I also just need to get myself the other schematic. Uh, drone cargo. Oh yeah, this is no, uh, in Darkest Falls there's no schematics. I just have to go for science crafting. So I can go over here. Science crafting. And I can go to this one over here. I need to be player level 50. And I need to unlock this. What level am I? 42. So I'm almost there. Almost there. I think instead of putting points in there. If I can go to the scout at Joel's place. And buy number 4. And get number 5 as a bonus. Sometimes it does it. Sometimes it doesn't. But yeah. I need to get that as a bonus perhaps. And that might be the only way for us to get this done. I can't believe the zombies are going through the wall instead of going for the pathway, but that just means they're not seeing the pathway as, a, as an actual path. It's way easier for them to just break through the wall than it is going up the path over there. Now, I wonder if I were to go and put in ladders, whether they're more likely to climb or not. I think I just need to lower the defense a bit. This is too high. But at the same time, if I lower it too much, then when the zombies fall, they aggro, and then they go for the walls. We can't afford for them to go to the uh, for the walls. Yeah, they were standing on top of each other's heads and doing so much damage to the blocks of here. Look at this. I wonder if I shouldn't put a ton of spikes and stuff around the wall as well, because spikes are usually also good, even in insane difficulty. We're almost out of fuel. I think I have a little bit of uh, fuel to work with. Oil shale. And then I need to eat and drink as well. That head toggle of theirs is really hard to sometimes predict. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we have the drone house, we have more space. I need to buy some stuff. Uh, where's my coin? Unfortunately, I don't think you can sell to this trader, right? Let's see. Nope, you can't sell to them. You can buy from them, but you can't sell from them. Uh, steak meal, we'll buy blueberry pies. I need to make sure not to use accidentally all my cash over here, but we do need food. I need to fill up on this as much as possible. Concrete mix, clean water. If you had more duct tape and stuff, yeah, let's buy this. Cobble, yes, cement. Oh, whoa, what's with all your lo our loot over here, dude? Damn. Okay, I'm going to do this instead of the concrete mix, because if we make our own, I think it's going to be cheaper than buying the concrete mix. This is going to be 4.7 just to buy the stack. But yeah, that's some really great loot he just had. It's a shame he can't teach us any new uh, recipes, because then we can buy some from stuff from him. But yeah, we have less cash even now, so I'm going to have to go do some so quests for the scout all. close by. And hopefully get enough coin from that to just keep going. Blueberry pie is a green one. This is also green, I think. That's unfortunate. I think mostly if they give like one or two wellness, that's green. Three or four, that's purple. And then five or six, that is blue. Or the other way around, blue and then purple. Okay, do we have sand? A little bit. I need to go to the desert anyways because I need to mine oil shale. Since that wandering horde was at one... So there might be another one at 7 or at 5 hours, 6 hours later, 1 o'clock. So either at 7 a.m. or all, all the way between 7 and uh, 1 p.m. There's going to be another Wandering Horde. I'm hoping sooner than later because otherwise we get, we're not going to be prepared for it. Uh, couple base. You know what I could also do? As long as this farm is safe, that's awesome. What I could do is make myself a base right next to Razor. Sure, the walls over here are awesome, don't get me wrong. But the zombies aren't pathing how I'd like them to path. If we had an actual base of the zombies that you path uh, up on, I think that's going to be way better. I can make it over the road of here, just take the, the stuff out of here, the trees. Make my own base from scratch. 
So I'm, I'm not even going to use a concrete mix right now. We're going to save that. So we go over here. We put this on, and then we get a little bit of a crafting bonus when we... I mean, we don't have any, any other glasses, so I can just all keep them on. But if I were to die out there, that would suck. 19. Um, Let's go for 10 for now. I don't want to waste all my water. The fuel is definitely necessary because we can't, we can't go anywhere at the moment. Our fuel's way too low. Steroids I want to keep. I should probably just keep one on us in case it gets destroyed. That there, drink that. Yeah, we need to go to the trader to see if we can't get some quests. I want to put some stuff on the drone. See, now this is the nice thing about the drone. We can put all that important stuff right there. Also, we finally have enough, thanks to those two treasure chests uh, last time. We have enough ammo now to actually run around with more than just like 50 so or so rounds at a time. Look at that. Boom. I want to go down to Joel's while we'll go for the books. Then we'll go to uh, down to Joel's place. Because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get interrupted over there by the wandering horde. So then at Joel's place we can get a scout quest and hopefully just do some scout quests over here. Hopefully we don't have to traverse mountains and hills and stuff just to get stuff done. The final stash is right there, so if I can grab it, that'd be awesome. But I'll have to sneak this now. If I have to run, I have to run. I'm not going to take any unnecessary chances and risks right now. Our biggest threat, I think, at the moment will be like vultures and stuff. But any zombie that just appears out of nowhere is going to screw us over so hard right now. Oh, that's untouched. It's already opened up. Damn. I'm wondering if I'm going to get lucky enough. Uh, if there's a toolbox. This is just Shaka Messiah. If there's a toolbox, can I get lucky enough to get, like, a crowbar from that? Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. I think that's better than my current machete. Although, if I had, like, a Jason's machete or something, that'd be really, really awesome. There's loot right there as well. I don't think that's the final stash, though. That's just some extra loot. Yeah, if I can do this with some of the PIs, just, just sneak on top, grab the final stash, and then go from there. Uh, we might clear this PR anyways later for, like, a quest or something, but for now, we just need the gear. And you make sure we grab as much as possible, as quick as possible, and just get out. Be careful of footsteps. What is this? Chainsaw schematic. Nice. I should probably... Oh, I don't have any uh, Molotovs or anything on me. So before we do any scout quests, we have to come back here. Guys, this Isaiah is one of the toughest PRIs in the game, in Darkness Falls. At the back, the whole side of the building is gone. Um, and you just have to go in there. Oh, there's bookcases over here. Uh, the whole backside is gone and you have to go in there, but there's a ton of cops and stuff in there as well. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... Do this. Do this. It's almost nine, so I have to be careful in case a wandering ward does come through, but as, uh, as long as I stay outside of here and just lure all the zombies out, that's all we need. Oh, crap. Okay, it's awesome. I, I seem to be able to snipe them even with a crossbow. Up oh, and there comes the Wandering Horde. Hello, hello, hello. Lovelies. Oh, they're spawning right here as well. Look at this. Hello, hello, hello. My senses have picked Ooh. up something. That is dangerous. I think if I can lure them this way. Uh, okay, I need to go back around. I want to lure them this way so they can get away from the bookstore. They're still spawning in over here. That is insane. Oh, crap. Nope, 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 nope. That, uh, that was dumb. That was really, really dumb. If they smack me on the bike, they can still kill me. I think the map itself doesn't really lag that much, but when there is like a wandering horde or something, com uh, something coming through like that, damn, the lag is bad. Because the wandering hordes are 30 to 50 zombies. I might actually have to lower that by like 10 each, like instead of 30 to 50, do like uh, 20 to 40. Because at the moment, it's causing so much lag every time the wandering horde spawns in. It's just an excuse, you're right. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um... You have any work? Open trade routes. Any new recipes? Never mind. Any jobs? Finally, tier twos. Uh, fetch. 
I could really you no matter what. Are you a ton of everything I thought the wandering horde was breaking interview. I just heard a ton of wood. Getting smacked. The hell? Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Damn it, man, it's so hard. Let me just use a snap rifle. It struggles to focus a lot. The amount of damage they're doing sounds way more than it is. Oh, they broke into poor Jen's place. Oh, sniper rifle for the win. How may I serve you? Let me first serve you before you serve me. Okay, so let's see if you have any jobs for us. That's gonna be soldiers, that's gonna be lumberjacks again. But first we have to go back Can for I some um, explosives and molotovs anyways. There's no way we're killing them just with molotovs and our guns. As you guys saw last time, we barely did any damage to them. Oh, see if I could get the boxes over here. If I could get lucky and get a crowbar. But it's just so bloody dangerous in these PIs. Oh, that's a lot of HP per block. It's going to be quicker going through... Uh, yeah, it's kind of quicker going through the wall. Not all the way, but it is quicker. I didn't pay attention to when that wandering wall came in. I think it was at 9, right? So the soonest one will be at like 3 again. I need to pay attention to this stuff. Master, we are not alone. Come on, stand in such a way that I can shoot. I think we should be able to get in over here, but they might be able to crouch on the counter over here. Crap, that's too dangerous. I have to wait for them to open up the hole in the door. Why am I stuck in crouch mode? I hate it when that happens. There's a bug where if you crouch and you move, all of a sudden you're super, super slow. Like you're heavily encumbered, but you're not. Okay, so my only goal for, or my only way to survive this right now is to make sure that they make a hole over there, like they just did, and then just snipe through. Hopefully the roof doesn't wake up from all this noise. Come on, show your head. Move over a little bit to the left, then I can shoot your head. At the moment, the door's slightly in the way. See, this is what I intend to do with the lumberjack quest. If I can snipe him like this. He's still gonna destroy that door. Yep. See, as long as you can snipe from a distance, the zombies on the roof don't wake up. The ones on the roof can be just as dangerous, so you have to be careful. Make sure I quickly handle these first. Is that a vulture? No, that's not a vulture. Okay, so first things first, this dude. My senses have picked up something. What the actual hell? I definitely hit him just now, but for some reason he's so into the ground. I'm not doing any damage to him because he's inside the ground. Unless something's not spawning in. That's why I can't hit him. It's nice when you have the anti-rad mod on. It makes a huge, 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 huge difference. If I could get a crowbar right now, that'd be so awesome. At least this thing's silenced as well, so it's really helping. I'm hoping though, if we die, we get another silencer really quickly. I think we might be able to make one, depending on what level it is. Okay, how did no one wake up from that just now?
Wow, is the silence of that good? If I can get over here uh, just a crappy crowbar, that's all I need. Nail guns, okay. But I mean, they were construction workers, that's why they dropped that. I hear sleeping, so there's definitely still some zombies at the back. Oh, no, 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 they're not at the back. There's definitely still some in the bathroom over here. I want to get as close as possible. I need to make sure there's no other sleepers I'm not seeing right now. Anything else? Just one zombie in the bathroom. Oh, nice. Winchester rifle. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, the back room just woke up. It seems it's trying to break through to... Oh no, it's over there. Oh, that's a titan in there. There's a titan. Oh, run, 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 run. There's a titan in the back room and they're, we're definitely not strong enough to take down the titan right now. Crouch, move, crouch, move. I hate that bug. That's definitely going to kill me one of these days because I can't move after crouching. Ooh, look what's here. And the one right next to it as well. And this one over here. All of these are multi-centers. I mean, going in there, I think it's going to be really bad. I just realized I was on my way to the test. I don't want to do that right now. I want to get a little bit better gear. I want to get some armor to, able to be able to tank a hit or two and then we'll go for stuff like that. Oh! <gasps> And the metros here as well. The amount of awesome pep your eyes in this area is insane. But well, the amount of danger in this area is insane. <laughs> Sometimes there's demos and stuff here. I need to be careful. See, if the Wandering Horde comes through now, we're going to have to fail this. But if I can just get the fetch and the final stash on the roof over there, we're, we're good to go. There's so much stutter over here. You should need a feeling a lot of stuff spawned in. See, this over here, I should have probably wrenched the vehicles first. Because I need all the fuel I can get. Now it says the fetch is... Oh, there's a bunker to this place. Since when? I never knew there's a bunker to this place. Okay, if a wandering ward comes through now, I'm screwed. Because I didn't know there's a bunker. Unless there's just like a hatch or something I can just quickly break. Okay, so I thought I knew the CDC, but if there's a bunker underneath, I don't know it. Is there some place we can get up or something? Let me just take a peek inside and see what's going on over here. Yeah, this is the CDC center I know. There's also dogs to the right and stuff. There's a lot of corpses. There's a working camp station to the left over here. But how is the fetch underground here? I want to see if I can just get right on top of it. It's right underneath this. So if I can dig down to it. Oh, this is wood. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Please don't let the wandering wood come through now. I almost have my fetch over here. There you go. Awesome. So now if we want to run, we can run. We don't have to worry. But I do want to get that final stash on the roof. Interesting. Okay, I should probably also loot the vehicles over here just in case there's some good stuff inside them. Although, if this was an actual working stuff uh, vehicle, I think we'd be getting way better loot as well. We do have this ratchet. So, I should probably, after I uh, loot the thing, just quickly arrange it as well. Okay, we can left click it, it's fast enough. But if I can do a power attack or two, that'd be awesome. Unfortunately, at the moment, do every power attack I do takes so much stamina away. I'm actually counting on the Wandering Horde to appear so I can run away and come back when they're not looking and just gonna grab the stuff via. See, if you just power attack like this, you can get it done fast. But the problem is you run out of stamina so incredibly quick. You have to be careful. There are some burnt dudes to the right. Get the fuel. Pull this baby up. 
Yeah, there's some bird du burnt dudes over here inside the pits over there, so you have to be careful. Anytime you see any ember piles, those burning pieces of wood on the floor, know there's a chance to have any kind of burning zombie in there. So either hazmats or there's burning... Uh, the if it's just a normal burnt zombie, that's fine. But if it's a burnt zombie that's on fire, that's a feral run. I need to pay better attention at when the zombies appear. The wandering hordes. Like I said, on, on the hour, usually it was on the hour. Now it seems like it's like every half an hour. Like instead of at two, half past two. Hello, hello, hello. They stack up on the roof quickly for that final stash. If the wandering horde comes through right now, I want to be able to be done here. So we do this. And be careful in case there's any demons over here, but there shouldn't be because it's just a normal tier two. Crouch. The only thing that can really mess me up right now is a vulture. As long as we don't see vultures, we should be good to go. There's a soldier right there. Asthma dude to the left. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Imagine we never got the sniper rifle. How much harder our life would have been right now. You need to be careful though. As far as I'm aware, there's no uh, buttons or anything that's going to alert zombies or spawn zombies in. So we should be relatively safe over here. Okay, not bad. If I could get a full set of military gear and also put some bandit armors and stuff on there, we'll be able, able to at least take a hit or two from a zombie before just instantly dying. That's my goal right now, to be able to survive an attack or two so we can actually get some stuff done. Every time one zombie smacks us and we die, it sets us back so much, uh, so, uh, yeah, so much, a lot. I wonder if I should try to make a hole of here. How long is it going to take me to make a hole here? Not too long. Okay, there's a wandering horde coming through. Hello, wandering horde. As long as you guys don't come up here, they are going to try to come up here. They're definitely going to try, but as long as they don't, we should be safe. These zombies can now crouch over here. My senses have picked up something. And get in. the behemoths and stuff downstairs. As long as there's no vultures or demons like that, we'd be okay. I don't mind if the zombies from downstairs come. They can come. Yeah, the final room seems to be unprotected right now. Since that soldier over there woke up, any other soldier should have also woken up. I'm hoping. I don't mind if the zombies from downstairs, the Wandering Horde, tries to break in here right now because they should not be able to make it to us. There's way too many floors and stuff in between us. But if this was like the debut of the... Matriarch or the Succubus or something, we'd be so screwed. I'm just gonna break that open because there's something at the back. Man, I need a crowbar. Instead of having to do power attacks and left clicks and stuff with this axe, if we had a crowbar, we can just left click once. It's a massive game changer. Hell? Oh, she's downstairs doing that. I thought she was actually hitting the bulletproof glass up here with me. I was like, how? She, you're not supposed to be able to be here. And look at the wandering watch scramble down there. Oh, trying to get away from this is going to be insane. I think there's even demos and stuff downstairs, so we have to be careful. As long as they can open, I can't open the door somehow, we're safe. Just drink that. Beer, yes. So now wellness, so, so basically our uh, health and stamina goes up by eight. Fish pie, that's 30 food. And it's going to give us three more wellness. Yes. See, the higher our wellness and the higher our um, armors and stuff are at the moment, we'll struggle less and less and less. Oh, that wandering water smacking this place. They're coming. I just can't afford to, where's my drone? I can't afford to die with all this beer on me. I need to come back for this beer if I were to die. And the drones at least gonna drop will just cease functioning. And I can just quickly really grab the drone when I when I get back to a live status. <laughs> okay, so I can do that. Food was green, so I can't really drink or eat these right now. 
drink was blue, so I should be able to drink that for a green drink. Yes. See, that gave me wellness, that gave me wellness. But if both of them are green, that'd be a different story. It sounds like they're right up here with me. It's so unsettling. Getting back down now is going to be the problem because they might have actually broken through to where my uh, frames are. Yep, the Wandering Horde has decided to come parte. A vehicle is which side? Oof, on the side of the Wandering Horde. Where exactly did I park? Oh, look at this. Wait, is there any vomiters over here? Wait, is there a ladder on that side? There's demons in between over here. That red one just now was a demon. Wait, where did I put the ladders? I can't remember where I put the ladders to get up here. I think it's down there. I need to jump down. That was a demon just now. They're breaking in. Um, I might have to take a steroid right now just in case I break my leg. Drone. I want to stand over here so the drone can be in my view. If there's any vomiters right now and they hit me from the side, I'm screwed. I want to see if there's anything important over here. Beer. And then everything else is dropped. Okay, as soon as they're inside, I'm going to drop down. Just quickly try and see if I can't drop there. I'm going to drop on that vehicle and then grab my vehicle. Can't remember where I put the frames up for myself. I should probably mark these things uh, properly. If they can just break into this room over here, it would make life easier for me. Oh, it's over here. Oopsie daisy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't get stuck on anything right now. Oh, no wonder there's so much uh, damage or so much lag going on over there. The Titans are trying to break into the place. Okie dokie. At least we got the quest done. It was just a fetch. I need to do more fetches. As, as long as you can grab the satchel, you can run away. You don't have to worry. My have Look at all those something. behemoths and titans. There's three, four titans and like five behemoths. Damn. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Please don't tell me they're following me. This place over here is so worth the loot. There's usually a businessman or something protecting the door here, and then there's bears on the roof. As long as you can take them out, there's a lot of loot over here. Now the problem is going to be the bears spawning in late. I also want to see what kind of bears spawn. <gasps> oh, that's not a bear. That is not a bear over there. What kind of resource is this? Concrete. See, what's going to happen is they're going to fall out the roof right there on top of me. But I need all these books over here. That's locked as well. Where are you supposed to get in? Is there another way in or... Oh yeah, you can. I think in Darkest Falls you can lock big doors, right? Look at that. There is a zombie bear up there. If I can just stealth it quickly. Oof. It seems to have been the only one though. If I can get into the roof and stealth them from a the side, make them fall in and... Oh, but if they fall in on their own, they're going to destroy the books. I want those books. Okay, I'm going to try and lockpick the door and see if I can get in over here. I also have to be careful that the Wandering Horde hasn't actually followed us. Hello, 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 hello. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look at this. Insane difficulty. They can tank those shots. The other spider, please don't fall on my head right now. The nice thing in Darkest Falls is you can lockpick doors. If it wasn't for that, we'd be having a whole way, way harder time right now. Because I'd have to break open the concrete just to get in. Go back a little. Nope, go forward a little. There you go. I'm going to loot as many bookcases before they realize I'm here. What is that? I can't tell what that is. It's a radiated, I think, behemoth or something. I'm 
I'm taking such a big chance right now. The moment I turn my light on over here, I'm screwed. Nope. Scrap that one. Read that one. Scrap that one. The thing is, I could technically jump up on top of here, but if there's anything that can vomit at me, like demons or something, if that's a mutant spider, we should be fine. But if that's a broodmother, we're screwed. Because a broodmother can uh, shoot vo uh, rockets at us, vomit at us. But I can easily just jump up over here and be safe while they drop down. But if they drop down and there's something tough, we have a problem. I wonder if you can loot this whole place without them waking up. That would be epic. Taking such a chance. I'm like, the game hasn't been hard enough. Let's just try and die. I feel like there's going to be a trigger. Guys, I hope you guys are also stressing as much as I am. <laughs> Feel the, palpita uh, the, the palpitations in the air, just the stress. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Oh, there's another bookcase on that side, but I think for now we're okay. There's books up there as well, but I can't afford to die right now. What is that? I think that's a behemoth stuck in there. Okay, there's a big mum over there. We have to be careful of her. Come on, man. When am I going to get any mastery books? Is it even still possible to get them? Okay, let's see what the reward's going to be for a tier 2 quest. I got just... It must be my lucky day. Thank um, you. damn it. Not great. See, that's why we have to do the scout quests. Okay, you can teach me how to make 762 ammo. Yeah, so we don't have to put a point in that. Any other recipes? I don't have enough coin on me. What if I sell some stuff to you? Do that. Do that. Iron spear. We can make our, our own spears. That's easy enough. We have a crossbow, so we can sell those. And you combine this with mine. 900. See, if I can actually go and sell the pump shotgun as well, it's going to send us over. 1,000. There you go. Any new recipes, we'll go for 9 will ammo. Any new recipes, we'll go for shotgun ammo. Okay. You don't have anything else for us right now, right? We need fuel. We need resources. Oil shale. Oh, crap. 220. I'm going to sell the gun. I'm gonna sell the gun. We need oil shale right now. I need to go to the the desert and just go mine there. Thank but once again, I didn't pay attention exactly to when that wandering horde just came. So I'm gonna be digging in the uh, the desert and all of a sudden just feel a zombie drop on my head. This series so far has been so difficult. We can't even loot or do anything at night. You're basically just staying home and if a wandering horde shows up, run away. That's basically all we can do right now. I wanna get to the point where I'm strong enough to just to face any zombie. Oh yeah, we were busy with the bookstore up there, and then it turned nighttime. Oh no, then a wandering horde came through. I wonder if I shouldn't drop a few things on my bike and my drone and reattempt this bookstore. But yeah, for now I'm gonna call it an episode. If you guys liked this episode, please like share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.